La question the origins of the Anthropocene are very important because, depending on the date we give it, we're telling very different stories, entailing very different historical and political meanings. The standard most commonly accepted version says that the Anthropocene began at the turn of the 18th and 19th centuries in the 1800s. It corresponds to the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, as coal begins to be used massively, particularly in England, since it can be transformed into a motor energy thanks to steam engines. That is the classical story of the Industrial Revolution and of the increase in coal consumption in industry, which will be the starting point of a new geological era. A second hypothesis is more controversial and tells us that man's impact on the atmosphere is traced back, particularly through the study of methane, to the beginning of rice cultivation, specifically in China. Rice cultivation is a culture which occurs partially underwater. Plants which rot under the water produce methane. Humanity has already taken control of the climate. Climate change has already been caused by man. This is the second hypothesis. The third hypothesis is just as acceptable. It supposes that the Anthropocene began as early as the 16th century, with the beginning of the golden age of discovery, the discovery of America, and the establishment of a world trade system. It starts with the Earth being subjected to the flow of goods and capital investments in America, Asia, and Europe. It equates to saying that the Industrial Revolution, the moment where man effectively, massively transformed the atmosphere, cannot be understood as something which appeared out of nowhere in 1800 with James Watt and the invention of the steam engine. The Industrial Revolution is anchored in economic exchanges in the history of economic trade since the 16th century. When you think about the Industrial Revolution in 1800, you see that it was founded on the use of coal. What was the coal used for? It fueled steam engines, which in turn fueled textile machinery, machines which wove cotton fibers. And where was the cotton produced? In America, by slaves. This means that the Industrial Revolution in 1800 in England cannot be considered as being founded on cotton without taking into account triangular trade, trading slaves, well, capturing and selling slaves in America and Caribbean colonies. There are therefore three interesting theories, none of which is necessarily better than the others. There are three possible theories which tell very different stories. The first theory, which coincides with the beginning of the industrial era, tells a very European story. It's about the genius of European industrials pulling the entire planet into a new geological era, making it something everyone will try to imitate, etc. It's a story which is actually quite centered around England. The second theory tells us a very different story. It's about the agricultural revolution, or the invention of agriculture and the extension of agriculture as the origin of the Anthropocene. It's a story that involves the whole world. It's much more consensual in a way. The third story is in fact much more political. It focuses on the relationship between exploiting humanity and the destruction of different environments. For example, the relationship between slave trade and environmental destruction. These three stories will give a very different orientation as to how we investigate causes and consider responsibility. And the story we tell ourselves about the Anthropocene gives an orientation to our quest for solutions.